All right, you guys, I'm going to make a video demonstration. It's about um, what's going on with the guitar neck I purchased. Um, this is a uh, um, 25 and a half inch scale neck. And I built, I built this guitar around the neck once uh, I put the neck in position. And so everything should be exactly right. But it was very difficult to get this um, to intonate. And let's uh, show you what I found. We're going to start um, with, um, we're going to move backwards to the process in the way that I did it. I originally discovered some kind of issue and had to figure out what it was. And then I uh, went through all the different ways to explore if that was true. So here we're going to go through that in reverse. What I'm experiencing is this, that the nut is too far this way. So from the nut being in tune to E, every single fret is sharp because it's further away from the nut than it should be because the nut is set too far back. That makes every note sharp. Now, if you tune all of them in tune, you don't have um, a problem in the open notes. You have a problem on the fretted notes. Now, there's a way to get the guitar intonated. What I did to do that was I pretended this was the nut. That would make this an octave and kind of change the scale and I intonated it to that scale of first fret and on. So based on that, what I ended up getting, and I intonated it so that it, it would be normally in tune open. So I did F, A sharp, I'm gonna go through these and retune them again, real good. F, intonated. So it could go back a little bit, you see, but not much. Here we go, E sharp. see so pretty much intonated as can be right and it took a, took a little finessing to get it there you know in back and forth sometimes I didn't have it quite right and still I could get it a little bit more perfect but that being said that's uh, like an eighth of a rotation so what do we have here we now have it in tune so if we go if you listen they're in tune to each other you can be right um sounds great so and that's just some open chords so i'm going to go from there and i'm going to open this up now what should it be e right not it's not it's not it's not it's not they're all flat respectively the b is less flat because you know we understand how the guitar works but That is weird, right? So, what do I do? I go like this. You go to, to the correct spot. There we go. E. 25 scale. Let's go. Why is it sharp? Why is it sharp? Sharp. 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 sharp, sharp. Everything's sharp. There's no... I can't go back far enough. I can't go back far enough to make it not sharp. And when I do finally get back far enough to make this not sharp, this is flat. There is no compromise because there, there is, when you, well, there is a center, you can get there, but then these are all off. Those are all flat. You can get this in tune and this in tune, but then these are flat. You can get this in tune, but then all these are sharp. Or you can put the capo here and intonate it and with one and zero and get it all set up and everything's in tune, except when you do do that, let me try that again and get back there. There's still a problem, like I said, the open strings are out of tune. So tune this where it needs to be. Check, check it out a little bit. Pretty good, a little sharper. Okay, and octave, let's see, there we go. So now look open chords they're horrible if you mute the open strings of an open chord i'm sorry it's 
still out of tune. Something's up there. Let's try this again. Double check everything's in tune. Doo -doo -doo. So. Add the open notes. Because the open notes are super flat. They need a correction. So, can you intonate it? No, you cannot. That these are already pretty much as far back as they can, can go, and everything's intonated how it should be if this thing was correct. Um, I'll go on a little exploration with everybody. Uh, let's see if we can intonate. Let's go to the high E since it's less tension on the saddle. Or the high B, my E broke. Okay. Intonated, right? should be the easiest so if I go back enough to get it intonated you'll see what happens loosen it never intonate with your sat with your tension on your strings especially with aluminum parts can't get there there's no you can't get far enough and I'll just keep doing this but there's no far enough away one to try it on but B is probably, E and B are probably the best to try it on but it's, it, it's really is impossible there's no way to go far enough away and then when you finally do which would be it, it's gonna be like 30 inches when you do it it, it it everything else is off let's just try and do it on the let's try it on a D now It's just not right. It 
it's crazy, I just can't do it. So now, just go to the fret on one, and just have this capital be as gentle as we can be, just, just barely depressing it down to fret it down. And on the fret so that it's a very low amount of force. No intonating it. Um, I can't do this forever. I can't just sit here forever and then just go through this cycle forever and never ever get it done. So I'm sitting here and I go, what is up? So I take out my my grinder. I could go very crazy with it on with a machinist's tool. And I go, what is the distance from here? The far side of this fret to the far side of this fret. So I get there and I get there and I look in my head both almost. There I am. It says that little gap. Dude, you get it exact, you get it right here. Yeah, it's 1.3510515. That's exactly what fret one to fret two is. And this repeats, everything matches what it's supposed to be. Now, go again to that far side of the fret to this guy right here, the fret, the, the nut, to the far side of the fret. One point four five eight. It's usually one point four five eight five or four five one point four five nine, but this is that was a good measurement. And that's not right. But if I measure from the front of it to the other side of the fret, then it's the right spot, 1.4285. If I go back the whole fret slot cut away, back that far away, right there, 1.355. So it's a nut slot thickness too far back. It's like you cut the nut slot, Right here, the 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 fret zero fret uh, slot, and then he walked away and took a dump, and then came back and then and then measured from the back side of it to the front side instead of from the front side to the front side, and basically he went for he went for, actually what he did is from the measure from the front side of this nut uh, zero fret marker to the back side here meaning that the actual thing would be forward a fret width because it's at the end of the fret mark just basically a fret width off on the knife and it makes it so you can't set it up and there's nothing i can do about it there's nothing i can do about it i can the only thing that i could do is if i could remove the nut and put another nut in there that's wider that's forward to hold another fret 
division. And it's not much. It's like a, it's in between a, a 32nd and a 16th of an inch of, of space. It's five 128s. Or three 128s an inch. Somewhere in that zone. Of space. That's, it's far back. So if I could take this out, carve it out forward and have a nut that's that much wider in the same dimensions, boom. But I don't have that. I don't exactly have anything to make the nuts. I don't have the carving, nut carving tools. It's not something I do. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at. I'm at a, I have a net that's unusable. I got this far in the build and now I'm just sitting here. So that's where I'm at. guys.